Hey guys, so today I'm very excited to both announce and to showcase to you one of the new tools inside of the BookBeam toolset and it is called the Keyword Generator. So I think the name gives away what exactly it is that this tool does. It basically just generates a massive, massive list of the most relevant keywords for you based on any source keyword that you give it. And an important thing to note before we dive in, all of these keywords that you're going to see here come directly from Amazon. That's a very important distinction. These keywords don't come from Google or from um, Bing or DuckDuckGo. These are the keywords that people are searching for on Amazon. And that makes them so much more powerful than, you know, than any other type of keywords. So, all right, here we are inside of the BookBeam web app in the keyword generator tool. And how it works, you just have to enter in a keyword into this uh, input field right here and I'll enter the keyword keto and hit enter and as you can see here it's going to start generating for us a massive massive list of keywords. So there we go it gave us just over 300 keywords for the source keyword keto and again I'll stress this again all these keywords coming direct from Amazon which means that people are actually searching for all of these keywords. And so where this comes in very, very handy, well, you can use this in a couple of different ways, one of which would be keyword discovery. You can use this tool to discover new keywords that you wouldn't have uh, known about otherwise. Or alternatively, and which is actually the main use for this tool, is to use this list of keywords to be targeted inside of your Amazon ad keyword targeting campaigns. And this tool will actually make your Amazon ad keyword targeting campaigns so much more powerful just because you'll have such a big list of keywords all from Amazon um, available to you so, so quickly. And it will also, because of the speed, it will save you so much time. Imagine how much time it would take if you, if you, we were trying to, you know, generate this, get this list manually. It would take ages, especially if we would do this for a couple of different types of keywords. So let me just show you how you would use this for your Amazon ad keyword targeting campaign. Just click one of these buttons. So this it would be to copy the most popular keyword. So these are the most popular keywords uh, for it related to this uh, source keyword, which is keto in this case, or you can take the whole list instantly. So I'll take the whole list, copy all, and now I'll have all of these keywords in my clipboard and I'll go over to my Amazon ad targeting campaign. I already went through the motions, set up the, the name, choose the type of targeting, either you want automatic or manual targeting, select manual for keyword targeting, and then select out of the product and keyword targeting, select keyword targeting. And over here, you can just choose this, a mass targeting option, enter list. And here I'll just paste in that list that we got right here. I'll just paste it straight in and I'll hit add keywords right here. And boom, just like that, so, so quickly, we got this massive list inside of our Amazon ad campaign. And this has, imagine how much time this just saved me. And also I have keywords here that I otherwise wouldn't have known about. This is just the power of software. So it can, you know, it can do things that we as humans can do. And it does them much faster <laughs> and better, to be frank. So just for fun, we can do this a couple more times. The holiday season is just on the horizon. So I'll enter in the keyword Christmas and let's see how many keywords it going, it's going to be giving us here. A lot, uh, almost 500. That's a, such a solid list of keywords. And so why it's better to have a lot of keywords because if you have a lot of keywords, you can, well, one of the elements that you, one of the benefits that you gain is that you can have a lot of control. You can control exactly where your book is gonna be shown and you can, you know, you can bid exactly how much you're gonna be willing to pay for every single um, keyword. And just because there's so many keywords here, you're gonna be able to get your book seen, um, you know, get your book in front of many different people. And you can really, you know, again, because there's so many, so many keywords, you can really tweak and get it to be maximum, you know, as efficient as it possibly can be when you have so many uh, different keywords. You can see exactly the keywords, turn all the keywords off that are not working for you and that are, wor are working, you can always get them to work uh, better. And, you know, with having this big list, you'll be able to really tweak things to a very kind of uh, minute and small uh, extent and detailed in a very detailed way. And so, all right, all this time we've been doing searches under the books category, but we can also see how many keywords the Kindle category will give us. So these basically, so all this time we were receiving keywords under the um, overall books category. So these are the keywords that people search for when they are searching for 
uh, when they are searching for uh, print books. And when they are searching for Kindle books, let's hit this button right here. So these are all the Christmas-related keywords that people uh, search in the Kindle category and same for the audiobook category. So usually the audiobook categories and the Kindle categories will have slightly less than the books category, but you know it always, always varies. Let's do another keyword in here, coloring book inside of the books category. And then the last category that I didn't yet talk about here is the all category. So this is, I usually recommend that you just pick whichever, you know, whichever category that your book, the, the books format that you are um, setting up your ad for is. So if you're, you know, doing an ad for a Kindle book, select the Kindle category. If you're doing an ad for a print book, select the books category and same for the audiobooks as well. But if you would like to do a broad targeting strategy, you can also select the all categories here. And so, and so then you're going to get a very, very big list of keywords that people search for when they are not searching specifically for one of these, uh, one of these formats. And this will allow you to do a very broad targeting um, strategy. So let's go ahead and start the search. And I already know just because this is such a popular keyword, it's going to generate a huge, a massive list for us here. So we see we have 700 results in the all category. So most of the time though, I would recommend that you stick with these three categories right here, just to, you know, just to keep things kind of more, more focused. But again, that really depends on the strategy that you are implementing. And of course, just like always, you can choose to choose different, uh, the different marketplaces here. And, and so even though in, for example, the UK and the US, yes, you know, people speak the same language, which is English, there will be differences in the types of keywords that people search for. Because in the UK, you know, there's, there are cultural differences between these two, uh, these two countries. And so people will be using different words to describe the same things. And oftentimes also people spell things differently in British English than they do in American English. And so one example would be the word color or coloring. Uh, you would spell it in, you know, in the, in the UK, you would spell it with a U, C-O-L-O-U-R. And in the, in the US, you spell it C-O-L-O-R. Very simple example. And, and likewise, an example that would indicate the cultural differences would be a keyword like stocking stuffers. So in the US, people would use the word the, uh, you know, the keyword stocking stuffers, they will be looking for stocking stuffer um, items that they can buy. But in the UK, they don't use that word, they rather use the word stocking fillers. So that ability to really target which, you know, which category keywords and which marketplace keywords you want will really help you to have the best results in your Amazon keyword targeting campaigns. That is the keyword generator. It will really help you to take your keyword targeting campaigns to a new level and it will help you to discover so many new keywords that you wouldn't have discovered otherwise. And, you know, not to mention just again, how much time it's going to be saving you as well. So that's it for the keyword generator guys and I will see you around.